G'day folks, so we've got something different for you today. We've got Hot Devils Super Oxy Torch Kit. Yes, um, now first up, this is a sponsored post from Australian Hardware Journal. Yep. They wanted to have a look at it. So uh, we said, sure, send us one. Um, I told them, if we don't like it, deal's off, we're not reviewing anything. Yep. But if we do, then we'll try and give it a good objective review if we can. Yeah. And uh, we did. We had a bit of fun, and, and we think there's some some good points to this uh, to this kit. Definitely some merit in this. So I've had a chat to a couple of plumbers across the uh, mucking around and testing of this. Yep. Uh, my mate Jess, who's welder fabricator, had him over having a bit of a fiddle with it as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyone who's watched us still talk for more than a minute would know that we're not pros. We're not. Uh, trades and we don't pretend to be either yep. but i've had some serious fun with this we've done silver soldering which i think is one of the main areas where you're probably going to use this yep the plumber that has the occasional copper joint and when i say occasional it's because everyone's going press fittings now yeah it, it, it's an age of press but there's still tons of copper out there if you're doing copper all day every day sorry this is not your beast no at four and a half kilo it's convenient and light enough that you'd want it to be yours all day every day yeah but look the canister doesn't last real long the oxygen sure so i've seen reports of five eight minutes i think that's actually a bit of crap okay i reckon we've got about 15 minutes out of a cylinder sure now jez and i spent a fair bit of time heating up this 1.6 mil, uh, mil wall steel yep <clears throat> miles hill we also did quite a few of these. Now, I was mucking around a fair bit trying to actually just get the torch right. Yeah. Just to playing around with it, so. Yeah, because we haven't played with this sort of stuff much at all. No. Nope. Um, so it's, it's new to us. Correct. And, uh, yeah, so about 15 minutes, and th that can costs uh, about 30 bucks. About 30 bucks, yeah. yeah and they're, they're not reusable. No, they're disposable. So there's the first one. Yeah. And there's the second one. So, um, look, that that is one of the costs to it. Yeah. It's only a 280 ish dollar buy-in price yeah which is very for cheap. the kit which i think is cheap yeah so honestly you got your mechanics i reckon are going to use this if they're not set up with the fullest uh oxygen acetylene yep for bolts for exhausts for flanges that sort of stuff sure um got no drones and mate's actually got a slightly different one slightly different frame uh he's actually building an airplane in his garage like a little light aeroplane, yeah. and he uses it for little jobs on that, and I've never seen one before that. Mm. So um, you've got that. You've also got hobbyists, I think, for water features, sculpturally type stuff, absolutely. Yeah. Bike frames. My mate has brazed a bike frame. Yeah. Um, he could have used this instead of going to his mate's place and using oxyacetylene. Sure. Now, you'll see us, um, you know, brazing a little bit of uh, copper, copper pipe. Yep. Keep in mind, these are licensed trade gas and water. Yep. So we are not by any means mucking around with the the actual services in the house. No. That's for licensed trades only. Don't, yep. don't do it unless you are a plumber. Yep. Um, but you can do some pretty fun things. Yeah. Um, with copper tube. Yep. You know, as, as hobby projects and that sort of thing. And it was actually fun to learn anyway. Yeah. So I, yeah, I it was fun. It. I enjoyed it too. Yep. Um, comes with a little uh, flint. Yep. Which um, I, I'd rather just a lighter in my pocket. Yeah. So if you're a smoker, keep that and get rid of that. <laughs> You want to just give us a lot of. She's old school, but hey, that's that's part of. Also comes with your your glasses. I recommend you use them. Yep. Uh, and then the rest. Of, that's it. Yeah. You have got your flashback arrestor in built into the torch head, yep. which is really important. So you have got your two regs, you've got your gauges, yes. and you've got these. The only thing we would like before we forget it, we'd like we'd actually like a couple of tabs on the back. Yeah. Um. So that we've got somewhere to put the hoses. Yeah. I actually zip-tied it already just in my workshop. Yeah. I've already once zip-tied it to the back because the, the leads were sort of hanging off. So I'd love something on the back yes. to hold that in. Look, they don't have the same regulations, this sort of thing, as an oxyacetylene bottle in a tradies ute or anything yeah. like that. The whole confined spacing because it's mapped. Yeah. So the oxy you've got to keep on the back of the ute, strapped down, that sort of thing. So there's another little convenience thing, I yeah. think, yeah. Um, that you've got. So if you are an occasional oxycetylene type user, yep. this might well be your little bus. Yeah, I mean, you might be a plumber and you just have one or two things to do, but you don't want to pull your gear up three or four stories. Yep. Um, you might just grab this guy. Well, you know, if I use 10 bucks of oxygen, who cares? Because I just, I want to be in and out fast. Yeah. Uh, look, a lot of people talk about book it to the job. So you know, that's part of the cost. Yeah. You, you do a job and it's got two or three fittings. Okay, it might take you a while. Book a $30 bottle to the job. Yep. You know, I actually don't see the issue with that. It already happens. Uh, I'm not saying trades rip people. No. Just saying you book stuff already to the job. Yep. Um, that's one of the costs to it. Mm. So as we said, it's not an, an all day, an all no. day uh, device for plumbers to be using. No, but it certainly certainly does it and does it well. I was quite impressed. Look, it doesn't have a cutting torch. No. You can cut some steel. You can certainly cut through sheet metal. I could cut through the copper pipe. 
Uh, we would have been able to cut through this if we wanted, yeah. but the amount of oxy we're going to use to cut through steel, yeah. if you had to, you do it, no dramas. Yeah. But there's no way we would recommend this as a as a super cutting torch. No. Just, it's not the case. It's not what it's for. No. So, but to be able to bust out and for under 300 bucks, start having a bit of a play or get a job done, yeah. I think almost no brainer. Yeah, and lots of fun to play with. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we uh, are excited, you know, to get to play with it. If yep. you um, have used this before and you've got, want to tell us what your feedback is, yeah, please jump down in the comments. We'd love to hear it. Yeah, you know, we answer them. So, um, otherwise, hit us up on Instagram. Ugh, what are you talking? Hit, <coughs> well, he dies. <laughs> hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, uh, and we'd love to chat, guys. Mm. Off you go and die. <laughs> See you guys. Thanks.